If you're brand new to Tarkov or been playing for years like myself, you've probably used the hideout to a certain extent, or you might be wondering if maxing it out is even worth your time or rubles. In this video, I'm going to be giving you the most up-to-date showcase of everything the hideout has to offer at max level, such as all of the crafts on every station, all of the bonuses given by each station, and a quick look at how the crafting and hideout management skills majorly affect how powerful the hideout can really be. If you guys are looking for something specific everything will be timestamped below and if you found this video helpful please do me a huge favor and hit that like and subscribe button i normally don't ask for stuff like that but it really does make a huge difference so with all of that out of the way let's jump into the hideout okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is go through every single station where you can craft something and show you guys all of the crafts that are available on each one keep in mind some of these crafts are quest locks so if you see something that you don't have it's probably because you didn't complete a quest also keep in mind that i have the crafting and hideout management skill at max level or elite level so all of the crafting times you see are going to be the times that you would also have if you had the crafting skill at elite level so we're going to start off at the workbench and then we're going to work our way through and you guys can see all of the different crafts and their times Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go into some other stations like the generator, Bitcoin farm, water collector, and booze generator and show you guys some times associated with that. So with the generator, I have solar power up and running. So as you can see right now, I've only got one fuel in there and it goes for about 73 hours. I actually just bought a fresh one and we're going to throw it in so you guys can see how much time you'll get off of a fresh fuel container and that's going to be about 84 hours. So solar power is extremely powerful. I know it's expensive, but you're going to cut your fuel costs basically into a third and it is absolutely amazing. And as you guys can see, I have eight total fuel slots right here. That's because with max hideout management, it gives me an additional two so if you don't have max hideout management you will only have six over here on the bitcoin farm i just grabbed one so i want to say it takes a little over 13 hours to make one bitcoin another benefit of max hideout management is it gives me two more slots to hold bitcoins so instead of three i now have five which is a huge plus over here on the water collector i want to say it takes just under three hours to produce a purified water again another perk of max hideout management is it allows me to store three water filters in here and it's going to use the one on the far left first and then it'll move over into the next one so if you have a bunch of water filters that are low on their usages you could just slap them in here with a hundred on the right it'll use those first and then it'll dip into your hundred one and then over here we've got the booze generator nothing crazy here it takes less than two hours to create one i've actually got one going right now so i can't show you the exact time but this one's at 27 percent done and we got an hour and 22 minutes left so if you're good at math you might be able to figure that out and then lastly we've got the air filtering unit and 
max hideout management gives me two more spaces to hold the air filter so if you don't have that you will only have three but if you do have it you'll get an additional two slots okay so next thing we're gonna do is go through every single station and show all of the bonuses that you get from them pretty much every station has a bonus but not all of them like illumination doesn't give you any kind of bonus i don't think security does either but a lot of them do have bonuses and we'll start off with the shooting range keep in mind all of these bonus percentages are going to be affected by the hideout management skill so mine is max as i've said multiple times now so you're going to be seeing the max bonus that you will get with max hideout management so at the shooting range you're going to get a plus 15 percent bonus to all combat skills over here on the lavatory you're going to be able to reduce armor repair costs using repair kits by 13 and a half percent on the workbench you're also going to be able to reduce weapon repair costs using weapon repair kits by 13 and a half percent on the intelligence center we got a bunch of them here your scav cooldown timer is going to be reduced by 52 and a half percent quest money reward boost 22 and a half percent insurance return time minus 30 percent and flea market commission minus 45 percent solar power you're going to reduce your fuel consumption by 75 percent as we talked about earlier on the water collector you're going to have a hydration regeneration rate i'm not really a hundred percent sure what this means because this number says wp per hour and this one also says wp per hour so if anybody knows what that is please explain but basically you're going to regenerate your hydration a lot faster on the nutrition unit you're going to have energy health and hydration regeneration rate all of those are right here same thing as the water collector if you guys know how this breaks down let me know down in the comments over on the air filtering unit you are going to get a physical bonus of 40 percent to all physical skills as long as you have an air filter inside of the unit on the med station you're going to have a health regeneration rate basically this means you are going to gain back your health faster this one's kind of useless if you use therapist to heal after raids but if you didn't want to use her you could just use the med station to do it slowly over time over here on the rest space you're going to have a bunch of stuff down here negative effects removal rate minus 15 percent you're also going to have an energy and health regeneration rate as well as maximum energy reserve of plus 10 points so what that means is if we go over to our character here you'll see that our energy is 110 instead of the normal 100 so if you want to get that little extra boost there you're gonna have to get your rest space up to level three over on the library you get an additional raid experience of 22 and a half percent and also skill group leveling practical plus 45 percent so all practical skills will get a bonus of 45 percent and then over here on heating you're gonna get an energy regeneration rate as well as negative effects removal rate by 75 percent and then lastly we've got the hall of fame i actually have a whole video on this it'll be up in the top right hand corner of your screen right now basically if you put dog tags of the opposite faction of players that you killed whether they are found in raid or not found in raid you will get a bonus to combat skills i'm currently sitting at plus 15.75 percent and if you guys want to see my dog tags they range anywhere from level 48 all the way up to level 59 and these of course are all bear dog tags because i am a yusei so that's going to do it for all of the bonuses that you get from every single station that offers one and now we're going to jump into a few other things and give you a showcase of them starting off with the weapon rack so i've got mine at max level and as you can see this is the amount of space that you're gonna have to store weapons so if we want to throw some weapons in here we can go ahead and do that and as you guys can see if you play this right you can fit a lot of stuff in here but it's essentially the size of i want to say two or three or maybe four weapon cases so if you guys don't want to spend an absolute shit ton of money on weapon cases you can build the weapon rack and be able to store weapons that way next up is the shooting range this is what it looks like at max level you've got some pop-up targets some moving targets and then some ones that just kind of sit still on the back if you didn't already know you've got these little tvs right here so let's say we go ahead and shoot at one of these it'll show you kind of a little look on where exactly you're hitting them that one's not very good let's try a different one as you can see right there it shows you where all of your bullets are hitting and then you can also go down here and hit replace targets and it will make them fresh and brand new with no bullet holes in them down here on the laptop you can turn on training turn on the poppers fold the poppers you can kind of do whatever you want and then we will go ahead and turn on the training right here it's going to start in three seconds and then you can shoot at the poppers as they come up kind of do a little bit of uh, reaction time training right there if you want to 
go ahead and turn that off and then you can change the speed of the targets which is going to be these ones right here so that's speed one i believe change them to speed two they go a little bit faster speed three they go as fast as they possibly can so if you want to work on tracking targets you can do that right here mine's not very good as you can tell you can go ahead and stop them if you want to and then you can do inspect targets which is going to bring them closer to you so if you're shooting them it'll bring them closer and you can see exactly where you shot them so as you can see you can kind of do a lot with the shooting range you can train basically any kind of skill when it comes to aiming or movement you can also jump over and move over here and do some like side to side strafing if you want to the shooting range is a lot better than it used to be and it is way more in depth these days but that's a little showcase of everything you can do with the shooting range next up is going to be the gym so over here you can train strength and endurance by doing a workout they recently buffed this unfortunately i'm max strength and endurance so i don't think it's going to tell me how much we get from doing it but i'll go ahead and do a demonstration here as you can see you play a little mini game you gotta click once it hits inside of that oh hexagon i believe that's hexagon six sides and if you fail it too many times you'll break your arm and you will have to fix it before you can come back and work out again this does take your food and hydration so keep that in mind and you can also work out two times within a 24 hour period and then lastly is going to be the hall of fame we kind of went over it a little bit earlier if you put dog tags in there you're going to get a bonus to your combat skills but you can also put different items in the small and large trophies section so as you can see down here we've got all of the bobbleheads and then up here we've got all of the key cards except for green i'm currently working on that but there's a lot of things that can go in here as you can see i've got some stuff down here we can put different things inside of it put it on display and whatever you put inside of here is going to show up down here on this shelf so if we enter the hideout and come over here as you can see all of the items that we put in here are currently showcased pretty cool i used this early wipe to hold on to a lot of quest items that would fit inside of here i used it to hold on to a lot of my streamer items that i needed for kappa pretty useful if you don't care about the combat skill then i wouldn't even bother building this at all but i personally really really like it all right so that is it for showing you guys a little bit more in depth about some of the stations the last thing i want to go over is what you can do with max crafting and that is going to be being able to craft two things at once per station so as you guys can see right here we're on the workbench i'm gonna go ahead and start this green gunpowder craft and then scroll down a little bit and i'm also gonna start the m855a1 craft so as you can see we've got two going on the workbench and you can do this on every station that you can craft something except for the booze generator one thing that a lot of people don't know is you can actually run two scav cases at once so let's say i want to run the 15,000. we can go ahead and start that the only problem i see with this is the other two ones that require money you can't see which one is which so you kind of just have to start it looks like we did the 95k but as you can see we've got two going right there and as i mentioned before you can do this on every station that you can craft something so we can do it on workbench lavatory scav case nutrition unit and the med station so whether you use the hideout to strictly make money or you use the hideout to craft those high tier ammos or plates that you want to use in your armor having max crafting is insanely useful in this game i also have a video kind of going more in depth on that and i will link that in the top right hand corner at least i think i have a video on it if i do it'll be up there if i don't you won't see anything so anyways that's gonna do it that is everything you can do with max hideout at this current moment this is the most up-to-date video showing you guys absolutely everything and that is also with max crafting and max hideout management skill so if you've been on the fence about whether or not you want to max the hideout this should give you a good idea of what to expect and whether or not you want to do it for yourself personally one of my goals every wipe is to max a hideout and it kind of gives me something to do and keep grinding the game if you made it this far into the video i just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys who watch the videos comment and leave a like it really does mean the world to me if you guys want to go ahead and take an extra step to support you can go down to the first link in the description go to my twitch channel and drop a follow it would mean a lot to me and if you guys ever have any questions related to the hideout or honestly just the game in general feel free to stop by the twitch we're live pretty much every night around 7 p.m eastern standard time i'm more than happy to answer any questions you guys have or let's say 
say you want to see something specific in the hideout if i'm not in a raid i'll go in there and show you guys whatever you want to see i really do not mind at all but anyways that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys learned something let me know down in the comments if you guys have max hideout or not i'd be really interested to know but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video